day everyone it has been some time since we've last put out an episode and we've been having some challenges where acquiring parts are concerned but we've overcome some of those challenges and we are really and truly pushing to try and meet our april 22nd deadline that is going to be the date for the first meet we are now near the end of march and we have made some headway so i do have quite a lot of um of updates to give you uh in this episode we'll be focusing on the axles now the axles has been one one hurdle that we have to overcome in in um in in this project as the car is a daihatsu it's using a honda engine but it has toyota hubs so in this episode you'll see how we overcame that hurdle please do enjoy basically right now i'm measuring the short side axle um just a rough measurement um most of it is estimation but i just use a tape measure as a reference right here um i, I know you have to have at least a one inch clearance for the um the inner tripod to reciprocate in and out depends on the height of the car or when you go to a slope or going a deep sink so i have to take that into consideration so i give it a one inch a one inch out and then i measure from that one inch spot to where the cv joint would sit on the inside of the hub so what i do right there now we would normally we're going, to, we're going to basically have to cut axles this time so we're going to cut the axle keeping the original toyota in and converting the honda side so i just have to use back the original cv joint from the toyota measure from it from that base to the inner cup so here we are on the left side axle which is a long axle we had decided to go the route of cutting and welding axles as we were having a difficulty finding ax long axles with the with the correct diameter for the splines to to be cut so we made our way down to Pawman machine shop so i'll now have jason walk you through how he's going to modify these axles to the specification of what we want to, was to get this tripod for fit on this axle Whereas what I cut the spline, spline is this. You see it here? Yeah, so. When you go about doing that, realize eh, this spline is fatter than, in width, fatter than this axle. This axle is fatter than this axle. So you know, so that can't work out there, sir. So. so we have to go choose other alternatives. And that is uh, splice the axles, cut and, and weld it. Splice them, get the required length, and then weld it to that length. So we already made the mark of where we have to cut the axles. And, mm. So all you have to do now is to just cut it off and weld it. We are going to weld it in at the lead still, between two centers. So we can get a leveled back axle, a straight axle. Alright, so with my welding, me not do no grinding out, no burn out it. I'm pre the material. So you see how thin we burn it out? So all of them spaces are going to come back now. We are going to use the welding and build up them spaces. Already pre it so Everything I got merged when I did welding. This is the X, these are the strongest welding when it comes down to welding axles. It is like it's as good as new. Yeah man, this is how we do it. When we are well, this is how we get extremely red. Everything merging, you know? All of them spaces come out. So we well axles. So after all of that now, I finish welding. Arrow, 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 arrow straight. On completing the welded axles, poor man had located an axle suitable to be re-splined for the long side, 
so we purchase that axle and had them re-spline it so for the short side we'll be using the remainder of the honda axle the honda axle already has splines for the inner cv joint so all that had to be done was to re-spline the area for the outer cv joint here is a look at the finished product you can see here we have the long side and this is the short side here we have a quick fit up of the short side axle Here we have the short axle fitted into the inner CV joint cup. Well, that's the axles complete. Do join us in our next episode as we have quite a way to go. Corey will be back with his favorite tool running through the project. So um, look out for the next episode. We have quite, quite a lot in store for you all.